seductive. What's going on everybody, Ratchet Wrenches is back for a video. Today we have the 2016 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk version. We're going to be doing the oil change and the engine air filter um, change on it. So if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you as always. And if you want to see previous videos on this, we'll tag it up above. And we got more things coming for this, so stay tuned. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is the engine air filter. It's actually very easy to do. Um, you're going to want to take a flathead to loosen this connector up just to give it some leeway so you can you know, maneuver it around. And then there's a couple screws. One, two, three, four, five. Clearly someone, I guess you used to take this to the dealer. They didn't put the screws back in, which is typical. You know, with dealers, never do, they never do it right because they're cheap and they want to get the money. So we're going to do it. We're gonna get them out of the way, and it's really easy, so we'll start it now. So we got the old one out. It's not terrible, but it's not the best, so we're gonna replace it just to be safe because this is a used car. So now we're just gonna put the new one in. It's such an easy tutorial. Make sure it's flush. Line it up. This hovers over. As you can see, I didn't take the screws all the way out. There's, it's not necessary. They'll hang in there so you don't have to lose them. Throw it down a little bit. Don't forget to put that back on. I guess they broke it before, so they used some epoxy there. All right, so I'm just going to tighten down these two screws because, like I was saying earlier, the previous person or the dealer um, left the screws out. So in this case, there's two, but tighten down all five. Make sure you do it equally so you get a nice clamping force. Make sure this is connected and don't forget to tighten that. So, like that. it's either a seven millimeter or you could use a flathead, whatever you have. Flathead's just convenient. I don't feel like getting it on a ratchet and everything. So, that's that. Easiest tutorial ever. You could do it yourself, save yourself a lot of money. Just go to your local auto parts store and get an air filter. We'll tag it down below. And um, now we're going to do the oil change. So, as you see, I took this whole engine cover off just to access this air box easier it's not necessary if you're just doing the oil change you only have to do this and the oil filter will be right there which put back is right there that little canister so we'll start doing that now so we remove this little cover out of the way it's a 15 16 so if you're using american i uh, can't do the conversion right now i'm shot put it on but, the screen uh, yeah we'll put on the screen so we're just going to break this canister loose we're not going to lift it up because there's going to be oil in it, so we're just going to let it drain. We're going to make it loose like that. That's probably good enough right there. We're going to remove this so you get airflow going in with the drain. just makes consistent flow. So now we're going to go under the car and we're going to drain the oil. The middle way under the vehicle, it's probably easier to do it with jack stands and a jack or really just ramps or anything like that. But it's a 13 millimeter on the drain bolt and the drain bolt is on the passenger side of the exhaust it's actually right here this little opening you probably can't see but it's right here uh, we're just going to drain that into here it's 13 millimeter like i said and it's pretty easy to do so we drain the oil from the pan there's nothing left now we're just going to take the oil out from the uh, oil filter housing with the uh, filter we already broke it loose so we're just gonna unscrew with our hand you don't want to be careful there's going to be some oil left in it so just get a rag it'll come out like that pretty much just gonna take it out like that there's an o-ring down here definitely replace it and that's that so it's just gonna look like this we're gonna put the new filter in and then the uh, o-ring I'm gonna put the o-ring on first it's a little bit easier to do first yeah, bah, bah, bah. Make sure you definitely get it in that groove because if it's on a thread, you're going to have it sitting cockeyed and you're going to leak oil through it. And you don't want to do that because oil is expensive to buy. So, And then we got this on there. Make sure it spins. We'll put that back in. Hand tighten it first. And then we'll tighten it up with this. You want to be careful to not over tighten it because it's going into a plastic housing. And if you crack plastic, it could be a nightmare for you. You'll feel it snug. There's a torque spec. I'll put that in the uh, description as well. I'm gonna have to torque it down after this, but down. 
Okay, so now I got a white knuckle tight, and I'm gonna do the torque spec after. These little grooves just go in there, and then you just twist it like that, locks in place. Now we're gonna put the oil in, and then start her up, reset the engine oil light, and that's it. it takes 5.96 quarts, so we're just gonna do a six quarts. Um, they say 520, and we're gonna use synthetic as well. So we're gonna put that in there. And that's it. Seductive. Oil change is done. Now I'm gonna get rid of that engine oil light. Super simple, just put the key in the ignition and then you're gonna press the gas pedal down three times and it will reset it and then turn it off and then turn it back on. I just do it a couple times just to make sure it's gone. Start it up, make sure it's gone. And then also check on the car to make sure there's no oil leaking. Do it and then out of no Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out where the hell this is. Up, oh, see, there it is. Oil lights at 100% now. All good to go. Super easy how to do it. So, all right, guys, that wraps up today's tutorial. Um, very easy to do. Save yourself some money. Don't take it to a dealer or a shop. Just, it's super easy. If you have the basic tools, it's all you need. Literally, all you need: a Phillips screwdriver, 13 millimeter for the drain bolt and then a 15 16 and a ratchet. Save yourself a lot of money. But um, if you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. We got big things coming. It's um, very hard to do with our work schedule and everything, but stay tuned on the channel. We got really big things coming. So turn on that notification bell, it helps out a lot. Um, yeah, thank you as always. Don't forget to uh, check out our Instagram, follow us. We got, we post people's cars now. We, you know, we do a lot of behind the scenes stuff and stuff like that. So stay tuned.